Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading. Goody goodies from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Aries energy, okay? So this is Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, wherever Aries influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days because it's weekly. Right, let's get into it. We're going to do the full, I'm going to do the full tarot, uh, oracle card spread over here, which is a very energetic reading, um, and energized reading. And then Aries, there's a full in depth tarot card reading extended video. If you'd like to go watch it, that link is below. And that includes your forecast for romance and love for the next seven days. That link is below. So Aries, 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 Aries. Aries, 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 energy, Aries, energy, Aries, 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 energy, Aries, energy, Aries, 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 energy, Aries, energy, Aries, energy, Aries, energy, Aries, energy, Aries, energy, Aries, Aries, Aries. You know, the same thing happened to Pisces. It's like you didn't want to talk. Aries, Aries. Wait a second, this is good stuff. Crowding your energy. The miracles are endless, but if you've never seen my channel before, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. I'm Michelle, and just so that you know, the way that the cards pop out and the way that they behave as they come out and present themselves to me means as much as the meaning of the card uh, and the cards that they're surrounded by. So it's the behavior of the cards. So this popped out and, and hid itself in my lap. So what this is telling me is the crowning energy is there's hidden miracles in your life. There are hidden blessings in your life. <clears throat> Things that are almost like shadowing you. They're almost like standing behind you to be those miracles and blessings. In other words, you don't see them right now. Okay. But they're definitely in your life. I think you have experienced things you have experienced or experiences in your life lately um, that are are at the very least challenging and then at the very most um, hurtful, painful. Um, they are 100% hidden miracles and blessings. This is good for you. I know the last thing anybody wants to hear when they're in a circumstance where they're not feeling good or not feeling appreciated um, or in pain of any kind that, oh, this is good for you. Um, there is a hidden miracle here. There is hidden blessings. And this is one of the most, if not the most abundant card in my deck. So I can tell you right now, these are big time miracles. These are big time blessings. This is, this is the real deal stuff, Aries. But right now, it's sort of being shadowed or eclipsed by the intensity of which, you know, they've sort of entered into your life, right? So think about it like, like that. It's like these miracles and blessings have entered in your life in a, maybe in the midst of chaos or in the midst of um, difficulty. And that is why they're intensely difficult to, to understand or to, to see. Um, but they're here and they're, and they're big. You know, you think something big would be easy to say, right? But that's not necessarily true. Something, sometimes it, things are so big that we don't even realize they're just all around us. And I feel like that's the kind of energy that it is. It is sort of, maybe it's what's causing the shadow around you right now. Shadow not in terms of badness, but in terms of protection, some sort of shield. And that's what's sort of casting a shadow and, you know, dulling your shine. But it's actually this protection that's happening to you right now. Um, I'll get a little more into that. Let's see. Sing your own song. Central energy is in reverse. So this could have something to do with criticism or feeling suppressed, not wanting to talk, not wanting to say anything. This could have to do with um, um, feeling outside of yourself, not feeling like you are yourself because this is Gemini energy. So this could be about your your shadow self coming out um, and basically not being happy with yourself or, or questioning yourself, self-doubt. That's the central. So crowning, crowning your reading is miracles and blessings that are hidden. And then the central card for your reading is this feeling of self-doubt, lack of self-worth, or just, just questioning your, your value. Um, time for a deep dive to understand 
what is really important to you to understand those things to, to get to get closer and deeper into what really makes you happy because there has been something lately that has brought you into that, that has made you question what it is that you want what it is that you're attracted to what it is that you you go after and why you go after things um, um, something isn't working out maybe it's you're not getting that raise you're not getting the job promotion people aren't noticing you or opening up the doors that you want and, and know you deserve and I'm, I'm sure that you deserve them but are you aiming your energy in the right direction is it a door that you really want open or do you just want the door open to get the door open you know what I'm saying so this is a time to look into what it is that is really important to me what what really makes me happy and literally start to reconstruct your targets your goals based on what really, really, really makes you happy. Um, freedom is yours. So there is a wonderful sense of independence this week, a wonderful sense of, you know, you could have just gotten out of a relationship. You could have just left your job and walked out of it. You could have just found out you got laid off. You could have just, um, you could just feel this intense um, relief inside of yourself because it's almost like you've been freed from an internal prison of maybe self-destruction or self-doubt or self-deception. I think that's really what's coming out, especially with this as a central energy. Self-deception as in, why am I batting my head against this one wall over and over and over again when that what's on the other side of the wall isn't even what I really want. I just want to be able to get through whatever wall I want to get through, whatever I want to. But is that good enough? Is that really getting you someplace where you're happy if you can just keep smashing your head against walls and getting deeper and deeper and deeper into a territory that ultimately doesn't fulfill you. So this is like freedom from those sort of self-destructive behaviors once you take that deep dive into who you are and what it is you really want and what it is you really value, you can take your independence and your tremendous progressive energy and start to aim it at what's really going to make you happy. Then we have a bring a gentle touch, be nicer to yourself, like be tender, be kinder um, to who you are and to this idea and understanding of what it is that really makes you feel the best of yourself. This is Virgo energy, your two cards surrounding love, surrounding surrounding this freedom is yours so it's telling me that that may, maybe many of you have feel like unencumbered um you you've thrown off the weights or the pressures of of being in a relationship or a love that's tagging you down or maybe just the stress that was in a relationship because you could be in a very good relationship and it's almost like this this love is actually helping you to feel the, or this love could be making a lot of progress right so whatever it is it definitely has to do with love and it definitely has to do with at least part partially of the energy you'll experience over the next seven days has to do with romance romantic love um i'll get deeper into that over in the romantic reading but it's definitely this energy of somehow you're being liberated you're being either liberated from the love itself so you're, you're becoming single or you're being liberated sort of understanding that the love that you have in your life is actually um a almost like a root for you something that helps to helps you grow and helps you um, move forward and make progress see the big picture has come out too this is Taurus energy and it's interesting that I <laughs> I chose that that rooting example because this is a very grounded energy while being a very progressive energy as well simultaneously because giraffes are so long right so so tall they can see out not seeing the future but see out into the distance to make preparations and plans and that is their grounded energy because they have four hooves firmly planted on the ground but they also have this aerial perspective so they can see great distances this is an exceptional energy of looking out into your future in a grounded way, really going deep down inside of yourself over the next seven days to get really truthful and honest with yourself. This Aquarius energy that we just entered into is asking all of us to broaden our minds. And I think for you, it's asking you to broaden your mind in, towards the, in terms of the depths of your soul. Like, what is it that really makes you happy? What is it that really satisfies you? Um, in terms of love what is it that really what is it that you really love now 
This could also have to do with what do you love doing? You know, not just who do you love or a romantic partnership, but what do you what do you love? What is it that, that you really makes you happy? Is it just succeeding? Is it just you know, making the deal or getting the pay raise. Is that, is that what feel, fulfills you? Or is there something in your life? Because there is a sense ener energetically this week, there is a sense of you realizing that you are not fulfilled and you feel outside of yourself and you don't feel like, um, like you're being true to who you are. This is, this is being uh, tangled up in somebody else's, um, this is being tangled up in somebody else's um, agenda. That's what this card is. Tangled up in somebody else's agenda, tang tangled up in their web, basically being somebody's tool or having some sort of manipulation or manipulative force in your life. This could also be grandmother energy, grandmother, mother energy. Um, um, some sort of healing, feeling like somebody is pulling on your strings. Um, be playful. You know, for this energy, I feel like there is almost a sense of you're trying to make it lighter than it is. Um, and it, it, I don't, I don't see it working for you. Watch your words as part of your grounding energy this week. Grounding energy is, um, watch your word. In other words, you're going to feel like popping off at somebody. Um, you may feel like doing it and maybe you may feel like doing it in terms of pretending that it's playful, pretending like it's sarcasm, pretending like, oh, I'm just choking around, but I really, you know, like, like that kind of energy of like, oh, just brushing it off as a joke or somebody's words. They could be that you could, in other words, you know that they're not really as playful as they're trying to be. It's almost like they're using their words to get at you, but it's like a subverted, like dig type of energy that you could be dealing with. And it's almost like you're seeing your future without this person or without this energy in your life, right? Um, for some, and I hope this isn't true, but for some cases, it could be you being the manipulator, you know, acting like you're all playful, acting like you're all cute. And really, you're just trying to tie those strings tighter around somebody else's neck because bottom line is you see you in their future and you're not about to let them go. That's a really negative, like energy. That's a really dark energy. And that's why I say it's really, really, um, Really hoping that that's not you. Um, this could be you being tangled up in somebody else's sort of game, you know, tangled up in somebody else's game, and and really not wanting, really not wanting anything to do with it anymore. This is let it shine. There's scorpionic energy here, and it's scorpionic energy that fell right on top of the love and romance side. I don't know if you're in a relationship with a Scorpio, but there tends to be this. This it, it seems like there's going to be some score, sort of spotlighting and. All signs have been, lots of signs have been getting this card. This spotlighting card has been coming out like crazy once we entered Aquarius season. So this is not something that is odd. This is, this is something that's happening to a lot of people this week. Um, um, just realizing, realization, understanding some, some dynamic that needed to be pointed out. It could be a person in your life that you love and that you know loves you pointing out something to you that you really needed to see because or pointing a direction, giving you direction, giving you focus. Um, they are part of your grounding energy. They are part of your, they are part of what's holding you down and maybe helping you to see that the way that, you know, uh, helping you not shoot off and not say things that you'll regret later, later. <laughs> okay. But they, but they really are. And if it's not a Scorpio itself, it's the scorpionic energy of something that's been hidden, something that's been in the dark coming out and being demonstrated or being spotlit. Like I said, all of a sudden being apparent, um, something being pointed out to you, which could send you into like this rage of just being really pissed. But I feel like there's this energy of them blocking you from going off or being accusatory or coming in and like tearing somebody's eyes out type of energy. Um... This is also a grounding energy of like nine and 10. There's a cycle that's coming to a completion. You could be, it, it could be, this could be an energy in your life that you're screaming and yelling at this person, depending on where you are in, uh, if, if you have a, if this is, 
This would be a romantic partnership. So depending on where you are, this could be yelling and screaming at them to point something out to them about their flaws and their ways. And it's just demonstrating to you a truth about really how you feel about them. So it could be that you're very grateful for them in your life. There's a huge dynamic and I've been getting this split for a while with Aries. Some of them having like the perfect partners and the other others just having these karmic being in these karmic partnerships that you guys just can't seem to get out of. But there is a sense of they're either helping you to ground you and buffering you and protect you and giving you that, oh, thank God I have them in my life kind of energy because it's like they're calming me down and sizzling me out so that I don't explode at everyone or they're actually the person that you want to explode at because something is not hasn't been working it, it hasn't it's not right and there also it could be this energy of things not being right in your life right now coming out and you screaming and yelling at this person almost like they're you know like almost like they're the, they're like they're the punching bag for you this weekend so that could really affect you so just know that that's your energy and that could be your tendency and it's all because somebody else is pulling your strings of this this incessant incessant, manip, incessant manipulation that is perpetuating yourself and has rooted itself in your life and is pretending like it's just a game but you're like lost and trapped in somebody else's game i can feel that energy real clear overcome any obstacles this is a compromised position for this card so it's almost like the trouble or the struggle or this manipulative energy in your life is causing conflict in your relationship there's something that you dis you're being you're disagreeing on because of this sort of manipulative energy now if the manipulative energy is coming from you then it's your partner pointing it out to you and it's causing legitimate issues in your relationship or it's your partner doing it to you and you feeling diminished because of it and trapped because of it or it's this outside energy that's basically causing issues in your relationship because it's causing so much stress on you and maybe you and your partner you know it's it's just this this kind of energy that is 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 destabilizing you right it's not fully and completely upside down right which means you're stuck behind tiny walls and you feel like you can't overcome anything but it's like the, it, it could be the two of you are really having trouble finding a way forward right now because of um you bit okay because you're not on the same page because you see this circumstance and the situation in a completely different way and you haven't found that middle ground to be able to like compromise with each other and and create a, a combined front so that you can push forward and push through this um let me flip the camera around so we can cl quickly review the cards or you can go to the extended reading right now hold on okay there's the review of the cards um with the with the with the wonkiness <laughs> and this is actually this was over here too so i really do feel like even though this is your grounding energy there's a lot came out over here so it seems like there's something going on in your life that is compromising the relationships that you're in or a relationship that you're able to build and this week is all about confronting it whether even if it's painful for you confronting it so that you can get out of this sort of manipulative web that has gotten you stuck for so long and and basically maybe you haven't been able to talk about it or you you haven't um you've defended it in terms of just like striking back at somebody or striking out at somebody instead of really confronting it i think that uncomfortable energy is going to be like in your face this week this is part of your grounding energy of this week it being it being uh you're not really being on solid ground it being shaky because um there is such an energy of just wanting to pop off and scream and yell or words that somebody is saying to you that you don't want to hear that you don't like you don't like hearing some sort of um critical words or manipulative words there is this manipulative energy i i can't tell you uh, really anything else there is definitely a manipulative energy in in your life that's throwing you off and i feel like this is the thing aries you got to put the passion to the side and see things just sort of really pragmatically because because it's that passion that wanting to just rip somebody's head off that's really impeding you from being able to see this objectively so that you can solve this issue and i think that your tendency to fire off or scream or yell or use harsh words especially at somebody who's loving and kind and trying to help you is really going to not help you so it's like 
Watch your words, believe in the person that you're with or believe in your tribe, the people who really love you and, and go at this circumstance, this situation this week. Um, because you do like, there is an, there is an energy here that is, is, is mal malignant, right? But you're not going to see it. You're not going to be able to cut it out and get to it. If your hand is shaking, like pretend you're a surgeon and your hand is, if your hand is shaking and you're crying like crazy and you're screaming and yelling in a rage, you're not going to be able to, you know, dig out that malignancy. You're not going to be able to dig out that cancerous tumor to, to get to this cancerous tumor. You have to get to a point of very Aquarian energy, which is just being objective, being almost emotionally cold so that you can go in with a solid, steady hand and a clear mind and cut that malignancy out. So let's dig deeper into who, what, where, and when. Um, there's a lot more to the story. Uh, that link is below and we're going to do your love reading too, Aries. I'll see you guys over there.